It is 6 a.m. on Saturday morning, and I'm in search of trains on Florida's S-Line. Driving out I-4, the radio is quiet. Exiting at Plant City, the radio is still quiet. It's a nice sunrise, but the radio is still quiet. Passing the north end of Plant City siding, and the signals are red in both directions. You can see how my morning is going. A quick stop to check the signals at Vitus Junction. They're red. I do hear a Q644 in the distance calling North End Lacucci. Barring a broken knuckle or a seized motor, I will never catch him. I may help you. So, yeah, coffee and a sausage burrito, burrito at the Dade City McDonald's. And it's on to Owensboro, Bushnell, Train. Coleman, and Wildwood. And I still haven't heard another peep on the radio. The S Line is the former Seaboard Airline Main into Central and South Florida. Wildwood Yard was once the hottest spot on the line. Now it's just a local three-track yard. There's a lone slug set, probably in its third or fourth CSX paint job, but still working. These cars are a curiosity. I've seen them pass many times while sitting on the platform at Folkestone, and here they are in Wildwood. Large gondolas with termite tent covers. Whatever's in there is agricultural and headed to Idaho, I guess, or coming from there. Topping off the expedition in Bellevue, 40 bucks gets me just over half a tank at the brand new racetrack. Easing into Ocala, US 301 has now picked up two other highways. The locals call the road 441. The S line is switching sides again, swinging to our west. The overpass is a feature seen mostly in northern Florida. I love these overhead bridges and am determined to get a shot from here today. First surprise of the morning comes at the Ocala Union Station. The old warehouse that dominated the landscape to the east of the station is gone. For the first time, you can see the old coastline side platform. I wonder if Ocala residents are ready for the traffic increase that's coming on that main line out there. Ten thirty a.m. and the first train of the day, my old buddy Q four fifty three, way across to Miami. I'm set up at the Eighth Street crossing, just north of the depot. Despite the absence of trains, Ocala Union Station is a busy place, enough so to support a restaurant. Dee Dee's Hot Dog House has occupied the renovated freight building and serves up some incredible chili dogs in a nice railroad atmosphere. Hearing traffic on the radio now, I vow to get that overpass shot and just made it for K811, a solid train of sulfur to the Bone Valley. I'm back on the road before I hear K879 right on 811's tail, running on a restricted proceed into Santos. Another close call and a big surprise on the train he's meeting, Q251.
Normally it's locations, not engines, that catch my eye. But the pair of Dash 7s on Q251 and a Conrail Dash 8 on K879 makes for the best shot of the day. I missed Q452 at Summerfield and that sent me packing for home. Reporting from the S-Line, this is Danny Harmon, out.